Another 3,000 jobs are being cut, and this comes just weeks after Uber laid off 3,700 employees. So combined, it makes up about a quarter of Uber's total workforce that has been eliminated in less than a month. Now, these are extreme cost-cutting measures, but of course, Uber is seeing ride-sharing bookings plunge amid the pandemic. And CEO Darvar Khazar Shahi, in that email today, he didn't say that the cuts were over. Perhaps more telling, though, Khazar Shahi said that he's revaluating some of Uber's big bets and things like freight and autonomous driving. And the key here, Wolf, is that Uber, remember its IPO last year, it set out to be the future of transportation transportation, a platform that encompassed many, many different methods. Increasingly, amid the pandemic, it's looking like a straight ride and food delivery company. So you have to wonder, does it justify even the valuation it's at right now? Back to you. And, and didn't, didn't Dara just talk about, Deirdre, the green shoots that he was seeing in, in Uber's business, which sent the stock flying? He did. And there was kind of a harsh line in the email to employees today where he said that they have enough cash on the balance sheet. They're seeing uh, re rides rebound. Their food delivery business is doing great. But he said at the end of the day, he talked to other CEOs. He consulted with many, many people and he didn't see a way of avoiding these job cuts. Um, but certainly sort of adds insult to injury. And remember, too, that these cuts have come after yeah. over two weeks, rather. They didn't all happen at once. So employees who may have thought that they were safe were not. And we still don't know if more are to come. Right. Well, speaking of adding insult to injury, we have to talk to you about SoftBank, more big losses and Jack Ma stepping down from the board. Just more bad news. Goes from bad to worse for, for Masa-san. Yeah, very, very bad news. And I can tell you that it was a brutal fiscal year for the company. SoftBank posted its worst fiscal annual result in its nearly 40-year history. Investment losses at the Vision Fund, they amounted to nearly $18 billion in investment losses. SoftBank's Uber investment at about $1.5 billion underwater. WeWork now valued at $2.9 billion, down from the $47 billion that it was valued at about a year and a half ago. Other Vision Fund startups like Hotel Chain, Oyo, Chinese ride-sharing firm Didi, they're struggling too. OneWeb has gone bankrupt. In fact, guys, of the 88 companies in the Vision Fund portfolio, 47 of them have been marked down. Jack Ma's departure from the SoftBank board, that's another blow as Alibaba has been the crown jewel of SoftBank and added a lot to Masasan's credibility as an investor, the ability to see these young entrepreneurs and really grow them. Now, there was one slide that I have to show you guys. I'm sure you've already seen it in the SoftBank presentation that really sums up the SoftBank Vision I Fund portfolio. Uh, and it's just, subsequent losses. Yeah, you're seeing it, right, Wilf? <laughs> it's just, I saw you tweeted out earlier. I retweeted it. It's just unbelievable. I mean, the, the, the unicorn inclusion is, is, is absurd anyway. The, the total lack of, of numbers, I mean, it just strikes of, of desperation. Oh, look, we'll, we'll get back to, to profitability and rising higher in, in, in the future. I mean, on top of that, uh, based on various uh, different companies reporting of this, this update, did, did he really compare himself to Jesus as well? <laughs> Yeah, that happened in the call. And he's made uh, sort of big sweeping statements, but it was his indication to say, look, not everyone has an easy, easy path. I may be vindicated uh, later. So he, he's known to be making these kinds of wide sweeping claims. He, he likes to reference Star Wars as well. But looking back at that picture of the unicorns, remember, too, when the Vision Fund set out about three, four years ago, he really positioned himself as this founder friendly CEO. They had a billion dollars. They were going to help companies grow. So it was pretty remarkable where on the call overnight, he said that maybe 15 of the SoftBank port Vision Fund portfolio companies may go bankrupt. And he said, basically, tough luck. We're not going to fund you. So it's a pretty marked change in these rough times from when the Vision Fund started in boom times. Dee, thanks very much uh, for that extraordinary chart.